Welcome to the Walton Pie. Today we're going to be discussing uh, 2.1 in AP Precalculus, Arithmetic and Geometric Sequences. This is my ninth video in my series on AP Precalculus, so like and subscribe to so you don't miss any of the other videos. So, first off, what is a sequence? Before we can talk about what arithmetic and geometric sequences are, we first need to know what a sequence is. So formally, a sequence is a function from the whole numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, to the real numbers. That just means it's an infinite list of real numbers that has an order. For example, the Fibonacci numbers form a sequence of real numbers. And the Fibonacci numbers are 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55. If you want to know all of them, I have a video where I list the first 100 in 11 minutes. The way that the Fibonacci numbers are formed is each term is the sum of the previous two terms in the sequence. So we denote these Fibonacci numbers as follows. F0 is 0, F1 is 1, F2 is 1, F3 is 2, F4 is 3, F5 is 5, F6 is 8, F7 is 13, F8 is 21, and so on. We can write the rule for finding all Fibonacci numbers Fn by writing F0 is 0, f1 is 1, and for n greater than or equal to 2, fn is fn minus 1 plus fn minus 2. We are just writing these down using our rule for what these different terms are representing. We can also graph the Fibonacci sequence, where if we graph this, we get this plot for the first several points. And you might notice graphs of sequences are discrete points. We have a whole bunch of different points, but we don't have any line segments that connect them. Okay, the y values, again, can be any real number, but the x values are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. They have to be those very discrete, specific whole number values. Okay, now let's start talking about the different types of sequences, because there's a lot. Okay, we're going to focus on two categories of sequences that show up often in the real world. These are the arithmetic and geometric sequences. So an arithmetic sequence is any sequence whose successive terms have a common difference. In other words, a constant rate of change. This means that an minus an minus 1 is the same constant value for any n you pick. For example, let's examine the following sequence a0 is 4, a1 is 5.5, a2 is 7, a3 is 8.5, a4 is 10, a5 is 11.5, a6 is 13, a7 is 14.5. If we look at the difference of consecutive terms, we see that a7 minus a6 is the same as a6 minus a5, which is the same as a5 minus a4, and so on, which is 1.5. So all of these have the same common difference. So since they're the same value, this is going to be an arithmetic sequence. This structure of arithmetic sequences, namely that they have a common difference, allows for a simple way to denote them. For a sequence a0 is 4, a1 is 5.5, and so on, we can write an is 4 plus 1.5 times n. In general, if the common difference in the sequence is d, and the 0th term is a0, we can write an is a0 plus d times n. Here, a0 is 4, and d is 1.5, our common difference is 1.5, so we have an is 4, that's our a0 value, plus 1.5, our d value, times n. We could alternatively write these sequences as an is ak plus d times n minus k, and this means that we can be able to write this no matter what the k value we start with. So I could write this with k equals 7, and I could say an is a7, so an is 14.5, plus d 1.5 times n minus 7. That would also give us the same arithmetic sequence. Now a geometric sequence is any sequence whose successive terms have a common ratio, or equivalently a constant proportional change. This means that gn divided by gn minus 1 is the same constant value for all n. For example, let's examine the following sequence. g0 is 3, g1 is 6, g2 is 12, g3 is 24, g4 is 48, g5 is 96, g6 is 192, g7 is 384, and so on. Here, the common ratio is g7 divided by g6, which is the same as g6 divided by g5, dot dot dot, g1 divided by g0, which is 6 over 3 or just 2. 
The structure of geometric sequences with this common ratio allows for a very simple way to denote them. For our sequence g0 is 3, g1 is 6, and so on, we can write gn is 3 times 2 to the n. In general, if our common ratio in the sequence is r, and the zeroth term is g0, we can write gn is g0 times r to the n. Or alternatively, similarly to how we had an alternate form for arithmetic sequences, we can write gn is gk times r to the n minus k. So, using our gn is g0 times r to the n, g0 is 3, our common ratio is 2, so our sequence is 3 times 2 to the n. I hope this was helpful in understanding arithmetic and geometric sequences. If it was, please like and subscribe. If there's other things you would like to see me make videos on, please leave that in the comment section down below. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and good luck with all of your math.